I like how the flavor keeps developing. You take a bite, and it's like, mmm, seafood, crunchy. And then all of the different aromatics and the acid come through. This is fun to eat. I got it on my face. <laughs> Same. Hey everybody, welcome back to our menu challenge here at Johnson & Wales University. Chefs have traveled across the country to create a unique, never before seen menu, and under strict time constraints, I might add. These are our menu masters of 2023, and I think they nailed this challenge, right guys? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, well let's get a look at what you created here. Group one. So this first dish is a, a, a play on a ceviche. It's actually a smoky Baja grilled uh, shrimp ceviche with some spice to it, uh, with crisp uh, tortilla and uh, avocado pico de gallo. This is a crab and crawfish cake um, on a brioche with a, a smoky remoulade sauce. And then lastly, we have a, kind of a traditional baked oyster, but we did a twist. We used linguiça sausage and uh, it's got a little bit of Parmesan uh, and it's a creamy sauce with Cajun spices and a, a, again a little micro celery. So here guys we have the jacked up dumpling. So we did a jackfruit tikka masala stuffed dumpling with a curry broth, the coconut flavors in there, Fresno's over the top, we uh, fried up some chickpeas and topped it. Uh, flavors are going to be really good. The tataki um, duck al pastor and a crispy rice cake. Um, we've got a charred pineapple gastrique, correct. a crispy rice cake, um, some al pastor gochujang seared duck, tequila avocado mousse, a crispy duck skin gremolata, uh, lime pickled onions, and a little bit of chote powder. And uh, duck riette. Yeah, and some duck riette on bottom as well. So we've got heat from Latin America, we've got heat from Asia, same sweet from Latin America, good old fashioned American sweet too. And it comes across in a very Asian style preparation on this crispy rice, but we wanted to um, actually give you the experience of eating something more like an al pastor. We did a pork belly bao, braised off the pork belly with yellow curry. Then we did a Granny Smith apple kimchi with a little bit of gochujang, pickled fresnos, and some micro radish. Then we also did, over here, a crispy duck carnitas taco. We did dragon fruit, as well as sumac in the tortilla itself to give it that really awesome color. A Little bit of a charred carrot slaw to go on top. A super herby pesto, and then some microgreens along with that. And then my favorite out of all of them that we did, we're calling this Elvis has left the building. It is a fried pie filled with bourbon marshmallow fluff, pistachio and peanut butter, and then we were kind of playing around with that bacon jam sort of thing, but instead we made it with soprasada. Well, clearly our menu masters here have met the time challenge, but what about the taste test? We're now going to throw over to our taste test lab, headed by Nation's Restaurant News' editorial director, Sam Okus. Okay, thanks, Diana. I am here with our expert tasters, Chef TJ Deladon of Johnson & Wales, and our very own senior food and beverage writer, Brett Thorne from Nation's Restaurant News. And we're going to dig into this food finally and give it a shot. So, uh, guys, we're going to start with the smoky Cajun crab and crawfish cake, which is over here. Just pick one. Let's just grab one here. Nice balance of uh, spiciness. I love the vinaigrette and the, the pickled onion. I think that all works together nicely. Yeah, the sauce on this is really good. Okay guys, we're gonna now try the Baja Smoky Grilled Shrimp Ceviche. Now grilled and ceviche don't necessarily, I don't think of those two things together, but what are we we're looking at? Well, when we're doing shrimp, I'm thinking Ecuadorian style ceviche, when you're doing shrimp, you, you typically always wanna cook that first. I mean, that maceration is not really gonna work well with the lime juice and, and and the, the shellfish as well as it does with the, the whole flesh of, say, a white fish. And the grilling adds a different flavor element. It adds a, right. a char and a smokiness. Okay, we're here now with a dish from a team that had vegetarian. This is called the Jacked Up Dumpling! Exclamation point, which I love that. I have to imagine it's going to pack a punch. The, the heat from the Fresno on the top is, is perfect. The curry broth, the coconut, absolutely outstanding. You're not missing the meat at all in this dish. And it's called a jacked up dumpling because they used unripe jackfruit as the, the main filling of the dumpling, which is a, a custom 
in the vegetarian world to, to use jackfruit usually as a stand-in for like shredded pork or something like that. Okay. Okay, our next team had the theme Sweet Heat, and they had to use a poultry protein. So what they came up with here in front of us is a tataki duck al pastor on crispy rice. Great texture, a variety of, of different textures because you got the crunchiness of the rice and a little bit from the duck, and you also have the smoothness of this charred pineapple gastrique. I could not agree more. This one was sweet. Uh, sour, salty, I mean, everything you want that, that dish to be, it's just perfect. And you got crispy uh, sushi rice, right? You have rice that's sweet and it's seasoned with the vinegar. It's just, it's really good. Okay, team four had street food as their theme and pork as their protein. We are gonna start, I think, with the charred dragon taco, which is right here in front of us. I love how colorful it is. And we, they had dragon fruit in the tortilla here, right? Yeah, yeah it's a, that, that, what a cool idea. Especially since dragon fruit doesn't have a lot of flavor, so you might as well capitalize on its visual appeal, sure. which they did beautifully with this tortilla. There's a creamy sauce in here, I guess it's the pesto, that really completes it all, which is why I keep sticking my fork into it and eating it. <laughs> Next up is the Granny's Korean Barbecue Bao. There's something about the flavor in this bao that like, sort of about two or three seconds into eating it, the, the wheat flavor comes in and really kind of adds a new element. All right, I'm really excited about this last one. Uh, this has the best name. It is called Elvis Has Left the Building. <laughs> it's a porky delicious s'more. I mean, <laughs> a porky delicious s'more, yeah, yeah. Look at the stretch, look at that. You might think it's mozzarella. We've got some hot honey, pistachio. It's like a bacon jam, play on a bacon jam on top of this thing. It's like a fluffer nutter. Yeah, and I mean, what an homage to Rhode Island, the super set of cot capital of the of the, uh, the country over here. I mean, I, I don't think if I had a week, I could come up with the creativity in the, that's in this dish. Brett Thorne of Nation's Restaurant News, Chef TJ Deladon of Johnson & Wales. Guys, thanks for joining me to test these incredible dishes. Well, as you can see, the chaos has left the kitchen and what an incredible day this has been. A real inside look to the talents and capabilities of our 2023 Menu Masters Award winners. So join us at the Nation's Restaurant News' Menu Masters Celebration sponsored by Ventura Foods on May 20th at the Drake Hotel in Chicago. You'll be able to taste all the dishes that we prepared here in Providence on site for an exclusive one night only celebration. Sign up today at menumasters.com.